One of the significant developments in transport modelling has been an increase in the amount of data that are available. But are the data helping us to gain the understanding we need to model what might happen in the short and long term? Lewis Pilo Willemson is an international expert in modelling who has worked on projects all over the world. He is one of the keynote speakers at the upcoming AITPM National Conference. We have a lot of data coming from other sources, but it's a very non-intelligent type of data. It's all the data we generate with the, the electronics we use every day. We use smart cards to pay for public transport, and the public transport operator gathers a lot of data of where validations have taken place, at what time, in what direction, and so on. And that's a very rich data set. But it doesn't tell us anything about what is behind those choices. So we are in, in a very interesting world in which we have abundance of data, which is not very rich in behavioral content, and really a scarcity of behavioral data. But in particular, we understand very little about how this behavioral that we observe today in 2017 is going to change, for example, when autonomous vehicles come along or when we have Amazon delivering things by drone two hours mm. after we order them. And these are going to be things that are going to change our behavior. They're going to change our, the things we want to do. And that is something that is very difficult to model. Pilo is looking closely at the human factors in transport decision making, including the reasons why we change our minds in regard to our travel choices. A link to the AITPM National Conference can be found on their website.